you're floating images or other elements to the left or right, it can cause some problems on small screens. Just look at how squished this text is. And it's not just a bad experience for your visitors. It can also cause mobile usability errors in Search Console, which can directly cause your Google rankings to drop. Fortunately, it's easy to fix with just a bit of CSS. Note, I'm using WordPress in this example, but these techniques will work for any website. In WordPress, alignment is controlled in the block settings, and all it does is add a class to the HTML code. So on the front end, let's right-click the image and choose Inspect, and we can take a closer look at what's happening. Here's the Align Right class that's been added, and these are the CSS rules that are being applied. It's a bit of added margin for space, and it's also being floated to the right. If we simply disable that rule, the text stops wrapping around it. And it's the same thing with the Align Left image, except that it's being floated left. So all we have to do is write a CSS rule to disable the floats on smaller screens. So let's write an example rule for practice. I'm gonna target both the align right and align left class with the same rule. So I'm gonna say WP block image containing the class align right. And then I'm just gonna copy this entire rule, put it after the comma and just change this to align left. So these styles will apply to both the align left and align right class. And my rules can be max width 50%. And this is just kind of a common sense rule that will help resize the image as the parent container gets smaller. So it'll help with our problem, but it's not gonna solve it entirely. For that, we need to undo the floats when the screen gets small. And CSS has a special tool for this called a media query. Now the structure of a media query looks like this, at media screen and a trigger condition, and then your CSS rules go inside the brackets. So as my condition, I'll say max width 900 pixels, which means these rules will only apply whenever the browser width is 900 pixels or less. I'll copy the same selectors from above, paste them inside, and then write the rules. First off, we'll do float none to remove the left and right alignment. Then we'll unset the left and right margins to remove this unnecessary spacing. And finally, a max width 100% to override the max width 50 that we set above. Now, when we hit our breakpoint, it looks like this. As one final tweak, you could use a second media query to center the images after the sidebar breakpoint by setting the left and right margins to auto, say at a 500 pixel max width, which would look like this when it hit the breakpoint. Now, if you want high quality site building strategies delivered straight to your inbox, grab the free newsletter at buildthatwebsite.com mail. And if you're ready to keep building now, here's a handpicked video just for you. Thanks.